Hi guys, my name is Mitz and I am going to show you how to build a WordPress website. Okay, um, now this is one of my websites, WordPressWebsiteBuilder.com. So WordPressWebsiteBuilder.com, there it is there. Um, there'll be a link at the bottom of the um, video if you want to visit. Now, um, I'll just tell you a bit about it. Um, it just shows you all sorts of things. Um, basically, it's got advanced stuff on there. Um, it's everything to do with internet marketing and WordPress and stuff like that. So if you want to make money online and make websites uh, in your spare time or f you know full time or whatever, then this is a good site to go to. Okay, so now I'm going to build a website. Okay. Now I'm going to start from scratch, so I'm going to pretend that we went to namecheap.com. Okay, there's the domain name, namecheap.com. Um, now if you click on the link below and go to my website, all the websites and stuff that I mention will be in, um, in the post there. Okay. So I'm in Namecheap and I have an account and, I, and I've, I'm logged in, okay? Now what I'm going to do is just get one of my domain names that is spare and I'm going to install it and use it, okay? Um, so just I'm just going to pick one. Now the thing is I need to point the domain name servers to my hosting where the actual website is going to be hosted. Now what I'm going to do is click on it. Um, now even if you've got a GoDaddy account and you've bought your um, name in there, sorry I just have to log in again so I'll just press log in. If you have a GoDaddy account, okay, you can still do the same thing. You just have to go and change the DNS name server. Right, so what I've done is I've gone to the settings for this domain name and I'm going to press on Domain Name Server Setup. And here it is here. Now I've already put the domain name, um, the DNS servers in there. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I found what to put in there. So you see how it's got NS283 and NS284? You always put two in there. There's there's always two. So what I'm going to do now is go to my hosting. Okay, whoops, I better go to the home. Press on home. Now I have HostGator um, because I, well the main reason is that I love their service, okay. Um, when I have a problem, because I've got lots and lots of websites, Instead of me trying to work out the problem, I just go and open up instant chat, right? Live chat support here, and someone comes on and fixes it for me, okay? I am not joking, that's just as easy as that. I don't even bother with the ticket system here. Forget about that. This is why I'm using HostGator. I use a live chat support. Right. I hope I'm not confusing you. Now what I want to do is go down and I have an account where it's got unlimited hosting. So that's what you're going to need. Okay. So you can't just get one hosting account. You need unlimited. And we're going to go to the domain section here and press on add domains. Okay. Now I've forgotten what the domain name was called. Okay. So we'll go and copy it because I don't want to make a mistake in anything, any spelling. Okay, so copy it and take it back into HostGator. I'm going to paste it in there. Paste. Okay, now I'm going to click over here. Okay, and let it fill in all those things for me. All right, because I don't really know, you know, if I had to work that out myself. I can see that it's in the public HTML folder, but what if I get it wrong? Okay, so I'll click over here in the blank space and it fills it all in for me. 
Now if you don't get a tick here for a new domain name, right, it means that you've got a space in there or something. So make sure you do not have any spaces or even a space after here. Okay, see how it doesn't work, but now it is. Okay, and now I'm going to put a password in. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what it is, if that's alright. So, just make it up yourself. Write it down. So now I'm going to just press on Add Domain. Now it's still working a little bit. I can see the internet connection is a bit slow today. So just wait a minute. Um, be patient. So don't think that it's not working because it is. See it's still going around. Just wait a minute. There we go. And it says here it is and it has been created. If you would like to manage the files for this domain you can go here. Now I don't want to manage the files. I want to go and install a WordPress website. So I'm going to press on home. Okay, now I'm in home. Now I just want to go to Fantastico. Okay, now I'm just going to move up a bit. I've clicked on it. Now just remember that we just have to wait a second. Okay, so I'm in Fantastico now and um, I'm going to press on WordPress here. Okay and now I'm going to press on new installation just here okay so all I have to do now is press on this here and it'll show me a, a list of domain names and um, then I can choose the one that I just installed there we go. Now I've chose my domain name by pressing this and choosing it from the drop down list. Now it says install in a directory and I'm just going to leave that blank. Okay. Now I am going to put the um, password, the name and the password in. Now I usually use MITS. Okay. Now the thing is I'm not going to type that password there in front of you okay now this here is going to be the name and password that will get you in to your WordPress website now this is very important you write it down right now as you're creating it and it is going to give you your first access to the inside of your website so don't forget okay now it also has all these things here now I'm just gonna put because you know that I've got another website called admin at tips for PC so it's my my other website is tips for PC dot com okay as you'll be able to tell by all the other videos that are there so I'm putting the admin as mitts yep and I'm gonna call the site uh, virtual virtual assistant assistant hire okay um hire a virtual assistant now it doesn't matter if you make a mistake here okay because you can change this later all of it all this you can change later. Now I'm just going to pause the video for a minute just so I can put a password in there because it doesn't it'll come up and show and I don't want to. So I'm going to pause for well actually I'm going to click in there here we go I might have a good idea here I'm going to type the password sorry about that you can't see it but I'm going to impress so I'm just going to make sure I got it right. Yes, and I'm going to press install WordPress. Okay. Now how easy is this? Right? Finish installation. Press that button. 
okay it's installing it okay it's done right now it says um, you know all this stuff here blah 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 but all I want to do is click on this and you know what I'm going to the website right now okay now he, here's the um, sign in thing that I need remember how I made it mitts and I'm just going to type the password in the one that I wouldn't let you see remember that okay so we're going in now this is in into the back of the website now we're here right now let me close this thing here because it's just a plug-in thing it's very annoying but I bet you it'll come up again um, okay Firefox is asking me if it wants to remember I'll just say remember alright remember the password for me Firefox now virtual assistant hire now I've got the website and I'm gonna right click and also say open link in new tab okay so I'm in the back of the website here and if I go to the other tab that I just made here's the actual new website remember how I wrote this in virtual assistant hire that was the name of the website this was the description hire a virtual assistant and it's just a new website ready to go now um, uh, of course we've got to do all these special things to it and um, I am going to make a few more videos and show you what to do to it um, we're going to add a few posts pages I do have videos on that and also we're going to make categories um, all sorts of things alright um, there's your website and um, it's ready to go alright thanks for watching